Whether you call it the rainy day fund, a nest egg, or your safety net, reserves are an important and sound nonprofit management principle. But how much do you need in reserve? When and how do you use your reserves? We're here to clear things up for you a bit. The most important thing when it comes to reserves is understanding why you need them and then calculating how much you need in reserve. There are generally three reasons to have a reserve fund. First, as a fund for unforeseen expenses or cash shortfalls, a big increase in your insurance bill catches you by surprise. An important fundraising event you plan gets rained out. Or, a funder delays a grant payment. Sorry. Second, reserves can serve as a fund for replacement or repair of equipment or property. And third, they can serve as a way of funding unexpected opportunities. For example, what if a big donor wants to build a new computer lab for you, but it will take at least a year to raise enough funds to staff the lab and pay utilities? If you had a reserve fund, you could use that money in the near term to pay those costs. After all, you don't want to pass on this awesome opportunity, do you? Oh, yeah! Once you've identified the reason or reasons to have some money in reserve, you can calculate how much your reserves need to be. If your reserves are for unforeseen expenses or cash shortfalls, we recommend starting with your annual budget and calculating fixed expenses such as payroll and operating expenses. If you haven't created a cash flow projection, now would be a good time to do that too. Then you'll have a better idea what must be paid over the next few months or year. For the purposes of reserves, it's generally a good idea to have enough in reserve to continue funding core staff and operating expenses for two to three months. If your reserves are for replacement or repair of equipment, you should be funding depreciation and saving that money in reserve. To plan properly, it's important to know the age and condition of the equipment that you use regularly and the building or property you own. If your reserves are for unexpected opportunities, well, those are unexpected and therefore harder to prepare for. Nevertheless, you would want to set a goal of reserving enough to give you some elbow room for new ideas and innovation. And you need more in reserve if you have an ambitious strategic plan. Now, in order to build your reserve fund, you'll have to accumulate funds from an operating surplus and build gradually. The single best way to have a reserve is to budget intentionally for and achieve operating surpluses. Secondly, fund depreciation so that your reserves can eventually help replace outdated equipment or property. And last, if you can make an exciting case for reserves, consider conducting a special fundraising campaign. By planning ahead and building your reserves, you'll be ensuring the financial strength of your organization for the long haul.